Hello Grade 12s, here is a selection of questions to help you practice differential calculus. The answers for these questions can be found in the series guide called A Guide to Differential Calculus. Remember that you can pause this video at any point if you feel the need. Let's begin. Consider the function f of x is equal to x squared. Calculate the average gradient of f of x between 1, 1 and 2, 4. 5 and f of 5, and 3 and f of 3. Calculate the limit of 2x plus 1 as x tends to 3. The limit of x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 3 as x tends to 3. Use the gradient formula m equal to f brackets x plus h minus f of x to determine the gradients in terms of h for any two points on the functions. f of x equals x squared. f of x equals x cubed. f of x equals x. f of x equals a, where a is a constant. f of x equals x squared plus x. Determine the derivative of each of the following functions by using first principles. f of x equals 5 f of x equals minus 4x squared, f of x equals x squared plus x. Determine the derivative of the function by using first principles, f of x equals to 1 divided by x squared. Find the value of x that will give a maximum volume and determine the maximum volume if v of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 80x squared plus 400x. Given the function f of x equal to 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2x, determine the points on the curve where the gradient is equal to 10. Determine the derivative of f of x in each of the following if f of x is equal to 3 bracket x squared minus 2 close bracket bracket x plus 4 close bracket. f of x equals 8x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 1, all divided by 2x. f of x equals 4 over square root of x plus 6 over cube root of x squared. f of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 4, all divided by x plus 1. Make a neat sketch graph of f of x equals x cubed minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 20. Clearly indicate all turning points and points of intersection with the x's. Make a neat sketch graph of f of x equals minus x cubed plus 4x squared minus 4x and determine the equation of the tangent to f of x at x equals 3. The graph shows the curve of f of x equals minus x cubed plus 4x squared plus 11x minus 30. Determine the coordinates of the point of inflection of the graph. Determine the coordinates of the turning points of the graph. For which values of x will f of x decrease and for which values of x will f of x increase? Consider the graph f of x equal to 2x cubed plus 7x minus 3x minus 18. Use the words increasing, decreasing, and constant to describe what is happening to the function value in the interval a, b, in the interval d, e. The coordinates of a is negative 4, negative 22, and b is negative 3 and 0. Determine the average rate of change between points a and b. Determine the rate of change at point b. A parabola, f of x equals minus 2x squared minus 6x plus 8, and a line graph, g of x equal to x minus 1, are sketched. The graphs intersect at point C and D. Line AB is parallel to the y-axis with point A on the parabola and point B on the straight line. Determine the maximum length of line AB between point C and D. The average mass of a baby in the first 20 days of life is given by the equation 
m of t is equal to t cubed divided by 648 minus t squared divided by 36 plus 3, where m is the mass in kilogram and t is the time in days. What is the average mass of a baby at birth according to the equation? For a short period of time after birth, it is usual for a baby to lose mass. When, according to the equation, does the baby's mass reach a minimum? After how many days would the baby's mass once again be the same as its mass at birth? Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. This brings us to the end of the task video. You can find the answers for this in the series guide and more information on differential calculus on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.